Warm welcome to your my investment mastery series. Today the topic that we are going to talk about is be careful with credit. Just, you know, recently I was reading about this scheme. And in this scheme you could buy a good expensive phone worth 84000 rupees by paying just 7000 rupees per month. So just 7000 rupees per month to be paid for the next 12 months so that you can you know completely buy out that phone and you know i was thinking to myself i used to wonder that that you know how come these people who have just 1 lakh rupees salary per month they are carrying a phone worth you know worth as much and um, well these schemes help these schemes really really help at the same time don't we really need to be careful when it comes to such schemes or taking credit in general i mean if we do not have 1 lakh rupees to buy that phone we don't have that much in our savings and i'm saying we do not have that much in our savings after um after our financial security is built if we do not have that then i I don't think it fits in. I don't think this spending fits in. Like when I am talking about financial security especially in our money gym course, we talk about having enough emergency fund, having a health insurance, a term life insurance, managing our incomings and outgoings and having enough retirement fund. in our world of finance in our world of women on wealth this is financial security for us and why retirement as financial security because nobody will give us credit to retire so if we do not have all these pillars really truly built should we buy that expensive a phone should we buy that phone which is like equal to one month of our salary or two months of our salary it could be different for different people so yes taking credit has been made really really easy for us there are you know um no interest emi options which are being advertised marketed like crazy but here do these things fit your spending plan should you really be buying an expensive phone like that you know one of the things that i really learned from my father and i would say he is a first generation entrepreneur a first generation wealth creator when it comes to our family one thing i've absolutely learned from him is live below your means you know he could buy expensive cars but he chose to use one car and use it for 10 15 years i remember when i was a child um he used to have a fiat i think we all know fiat and um he he used that fiat for about 15 years plus not that he couldn't afford to buy another car but he didn't feel that there was any need for it um you know he wanted to build other aspects of his life than buying a car so yeah can we be careful with credit can we be careful with our spending plans can we be careful and mindful about what our financial goals are and really align our actions to those goals so when i'm today talking about being careful with credit you know what i'm talking about is being mindful about our financial goals a lot of us we want to go to kerala but we want to but we end up taking a bus to goa that's how it is with finances you know we want to pay off our debt but we go about making sure we don't do that so can we be mindful can we be careful and really move towards our financial goals Kaviri is saying I also wonder why the purchasing of material things that are beyond our means is encouraged even when there are perfectly good alternatives that are so affordable 
this ego trip no one else cares i don't know ego aspiration desire to stand out there are so many reasons because of which we buy such different things and do we really um you know see that they are aligned to our goals that's what i would invite everybody to do so prita is saying so true hey shruti good morning awesome i'm glad you guys jumped in you took advantage of the opportunity right here keep coming back for your financial growth and know that i'm right here to support you in your financial journeys kavya is saying we have started living for others than for ourselves yes and it's time for us to really reflect and see is that what we want to be doing is that what we want we want to keep doing is there a different action we can take you know i want to share from my personal life before i close i was any anyways closing right and before this comment came hey archana megha good morning guys i'm glad you guys are writing so you know i got married and i got married into a very very different household um radically different from you know where i've grown up very different culture and um there was this expectation from some people to fit in for me to fit in and i just chose to be who i am it was difficult i wouldn't say it was like a cake walk it was difficult but i jo- just chose to be my authentic self and not give in to the expectations of others So you know I think the same works for money. We don't need to give in to the peer pressure in case we are in any. We don't need to give in to any expectations other people may have of us, family members may have of us. We don't need to fit in. We can just choose to stand out and yes there are consequences to that for sure. and you know can we be willing to be responsible for those consequences and um, live the life we want live the money life we want which is full of abundance and prosperity for each so yeah that's what i would say here raj everyone closing the session now thank you so much for participating and i see you tomorrow now for the decoding of the economic times newspaper Take charge stay safe bye bye